to the steps. Think of, think of someone with whom you have some difficulty and you want to create some healing. So the first step is, you know, this is a meditation, we'll go into the sacred sanctuary, we'll summon that person. And remember, this is your sacred sanctuary. Uh, you can create a barrier, you can allow this person to come only as close as you want to. But the important thing is to allow yourself to feel those difficult feelings. Remember, all feelings are sacred. So that's the first step to allow yourself to feel those difficult feelings, not to avoid it. And you don't want to overdo it, little by little. The second step is where in your body are you feeling this, what you call difficult feeling? You see, how do I know it's a difficult feeling? Because it has a corresponding physical sensation in a part of my body. If I'm angry, for example, how do I know that Jamal is angry? Ah, I'm feeling something. A physical sensation in a part of my body. So number two is locate that physical sensation in the body. Third step, very important, with compassion for myself, can I simply be present? with that feeling. And then as you have summoned this person, this person's soul is also there. And remember, souls love the truth. Souls love the truth. And so the next step is, this person's soul gives you permission to express whatever is in your heart and mind. I repeat, whatever is in your heart and mind. You see, on this level of reality, you cannot express those feelings to that person. It might have consequences. That person might get angry, might never want to see you again. But on that level, in the imaginal realm, because souls love the truth, that person's soul, whose adversarial wants you to express fully, as best as you humanly can, the truth of what you're feeling. Then the next step is, what, what is it you want with this person? What is your sacred prayer? in the presence of the universe, in the presence of this person's soul, express your sacred prayer. And always add that sentence, this or whatever is in my highest interest is manifesting for me now. That's the expression part. And by the way, don't worry, Sally is going to send you an entire list, an entire step-by-step uh, -step methodology. The second half is about what's called resolution. As you look at this person and this person's soul is there, remember that this person being in your life is part of a larger, more mysterious story. From your heart, you acknowledge that this person has been in your life is part of a larger, more mysterious story. And then you do a sacred ritual of cutting some cords or making a connection soul to soul. And the last part is releasing that person to the embrace of spirit. So I've talked a lot. Don't worry if, if you, for those who are new, you don't understand what exactly I'm saying. Let's just do it uh, as a meditation. So I'll, I'll request you again to think of someone with whom you have some difficulty. Don't make it too grand, something medium level difficulty. 
so that this is not followed by some subsequent therapy, just a, mi a mid-level situation. <laughs> okay. If you've decided on that, just close your eyes. Become relaxed by focusing on your nostril and simply being present with your breath as you inhale and as you exhale. Just this much. Just a few more seconds, breathing in and breathing out. And now letting go of this. And this time, focusing on the heart and through the heart, as I count numbers, 10 to one, at the count of one, ushering into your sacred sanctuary. Focusing on the heart, 10, 9, 8, 7, coming closer to your sacred sanctuary, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please find yourself ushered into your sacred sanctuary. And if you remember, it's a place of absolute safety astonishing beauty look around you so beautiful our souls love beauty ah, i'd remember it's a place of magic infinite possibilities please simply be there for a few moments In this place, there is no judgment, only compassion, mercy, love, healing. And I want to repeat to you, it's a place of infinite possibilities. And now find a spot there where you become very, very still. And then, when you're ready, summon this person with whom you have difficulties. And this is your sacred sanctuary. Allow this person to come only as close as you want to. You have power here. Not only is this person here, this person's soul is there. And souls love the truth. I'd like to repeat that. Souls love the truth. This person's soul is giving you permission now to feel whatever feelings are coming up in you. It doesn't matter what they are. All feelings are sacred. They have an edge because they're separated. They're begging to be acknowledged and healed. So please, Give yourself permission to feel whatever is coming up in you and locate it. Where do you feel it in your body? And with compassion, mercy for yourself, be present Envelop that feeling. Souls love the truth. This person's soul is giving you permission to feel whatever comes up in you.
only when you're ready. This person's soul requests you, implores you to please give expression to what you are feeling, holding nothing back, reminding you souls love the truth. This is healing not only for you, but for that person. So now, silently express, say whatever is in your heart and mind. As long as it is the truth of what you're feeling and thinking, it is healing and empowering. That person's soul is listening. Your anger, your sadness, your fears, your resentment, it doesn't matter what it is. Souls love the truth. Please express yourself with feeling, sincerity, little by little. You are absolutely safe. That person's soul thanks you, so please express yourself. Souls love the truth. Please remember that. Take your time, but when you're ready, knowing that the universe is listening, this person's soul is listening, ask yourself, what is my sacred prayer? What is it I want vis-a-vis -vis this person? Ponder on it, and when you're ready, say it, express it, articulate it, but always adding a sentence at the end, this or whatever is in my highest interest is manifesting for me now. This or whatever is in my highest interest is manifesting for me now. When you're ready, express your sacred prayer. This or something better is manifesting for me now. This or whatever is in my highest interest is manifesting for me now. When you finished, Become very still and once again get a sense, look, if it's possible, to, at this person. This person's soul is there. But as you look at this person, from your heart, that's a key sentence, from your heart, acknowledge that this person has been or is a part of your life. It's part of a larger, mysterious story. From the heart acknowledging 
this situation has occurred or this person has been is a part of your life it's part of a larger story i'm not privy to all the details from the heart, just acknowledging that. And then, again, when you're ready, allow for a beautiful, sacred ritual to emerge, to evolve. You might see some cords that tie you to this person that are unhealthy, that are messy and tangling you. You have the power here to cut them, break them, snap them, release them. Whatever you release, releases you. And feel free to go about it with abandon because whatever needs to remain intact, your subconscious takes care of it. A sacred ritual of releasing whatever needs to be released, maybe cutting some cords that are unhealthy. Whatever you release, releases you. And then, if you want to establish fresh cords rooted in spirit, heart to heart, you can magically create that. Fresh cords rooted in spirit, heart to heart. It's up to you. I'll be quiet. A simple ritual of letting go. And if need be, if it's indicated of reconnecting in healthy ways. cutting cords, and if you like, only if it's indicated, establishing fresh cords of love and light rooted in spirit. And I'll just be there if you finish, just become very still in the environment of this holiness of the sacred sanctuary. And look at your person, and the person's soul is also there. And this person's soul now thanks you for the work you're doing with this person and request your permission for you to release them to return to the embrace of spirit. You allow this, you give permission, and ever so gently, have a sense of this person fading from your vision, returning into the embrace of spirit. And when this person is completely gone, simply be in the sanctuary, that place that is absolutely safe, filled with love, blessings of divinity, a place of healing, empowerment, transformation, a place of sacredness. Just be there and know that wherever there's a place of sacredness, of goodness, Beautiful energies rush in. Always 
into spaces of beauty and sacredness. You can call them angels, devas. These are divine vibrations that flow. Some say rush into these spaces. Just be there, still, quiet, connecting with your goodness to your heart, feeling grateful, being in a place of humility and sincerity and deep gratitude. and being open to those invisible energies filled with divine love, blessings, healings that are infusing your being physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, as you simply are there, present and quiet. So I'll be quiet now. <clears throat> and then gently, as I do this chanting, coming into awareness, feeling grateful, and feeling these vibrations of divine blessings flowing through you from head to toe. Bismillah rahman rahim Bismillah rahman rahim La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah Again Bismillah rahman rahim Bismillah rahman rahim La ilaha illallah La ilaha illallah 